as they say, on the front of uh, bottles of juice. What uh, juice is that? This is, uh, I like this, this is... Um, Hello, Vera. Uh, say hello. Uh, hello. It's got real hello pieces in it, apparently. So Original somebody's just flavor. been out, out in, uh, you know, in the, uh, people's windows, but they got the aloe vera plant and just taking leaves off. Anyway, please hello like and subscribe. Vera. Please. Right, yes. Welcome back you to Anderson's TV. Pedal this pedal is stuff. Tales from the Pedal Cabinet. Anderson's has an enormous pedal cabinet. <laughs> uh, and uh, from time to time, we walk past it and go, oh, there's some pedals we haven't uh, videoed there. And... Uh, this is one of those videos. I think we're on about episode 64, 20 or something yeah. now, aren't we? No, it was anyway, 15, I think. This playlist, 16. playlist below. Yeah. Loads of pedals. In yeah. There. Right. We do We've there. got fuzzes with octaves in them, tube screamer clones, flexible gain shapers, fuzzes, <laughs> and um, ah, reverbs. Look at that, though. All, That's what I want to be. What's that? Like a it's elf like a with fairy. a tree growing like out of its head. Um, we've got cool, pedals man. from England. America, England, America, America. Wow. Something like that. That is a transatlantic mix. Uh, should we just get straight into it, Mr. Pete? <laughs> yeah. How have you been? By yeah, the way? I've been fine I mean, since I saw you like five minutes <laughs> in ago. In the land of YouTube where we pretend not yeah. to see each other yeah. for days at a time. <laughs> Whereas, in fact, we're just sick of the sight of each other. <laughs> Actually, right. we're not even in the same room. It's all just put in and uh, post production. Is it, is it like the uh, Stevie Wonder, Paul McCartney, Ebony and Ivory video? Where actually we pretend we're in the same. Is that what actually. it was? Did you know they never they shot that whole video? Uh, Paul McCartney never left the UK and actually Stevie Paul Wonder. McCartney was in the room, but Stevie Wonder never saw <laughs> I him. I so knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, people right. People say he can see actually, doesn't he? I've heard that. If you've not heard, there's like a um, there's a story about him. People say he can actually see. Wouldn't he just puts be it all the on. Best wind up ever. Yeah, when he when Probably he's a like, bit over the I'm top gonna spend your entire life <laughs> pretending to be blind. But, oh man, can you imagine? Um... <laughs> That would be just the weirdest thing ever. Okay. Right. Okay. So the Pedal Porn Octone uh, was released quite recently by yeah. the Pedal Porn guys. Uh, we met them for the first time, um, and you can watch that video about yeah. the history of Pedal Porn. But the Octone is an awesome sounding octave boost. Uh, we've got a clean tone. Seth Bacchus, the Bacchus. Shoreline. Yeah. Um, which is obviously T style inspired. Yeah. Uh, and it sounded like that. Yeah. Thing. And with a pedal, it sounds like this. the most pronounced octave and spitty fuzz of yeah. everything it's not some octave pedals i sometimes find you're, yeah, you're, you're trying to find the where do i go it's oh it's here's a note that works yeah that is just like <laughs> yeah it's built on a it's built on something isn't it built on something yeah but it's, it's, co it's a cut well hopefully <laughs> it's built on the water the whole thing i think it's uh, uh it's a copy of uh, or uh, what was it it was a pedal you're not telling me that a pedal is a copy of another pedal are you <gasps> no but it's one of those. That doesn't it's, happen. It's in one the of those industry, uh, iconic. Uh, <laughs> wow, an iconic pedal. I have never heard about that before. What's I'm the going to take the boost down, but turn yeah. the level up. Can you play the kind of music that you get in the Indian Takeaway on a Friday night? <laughs> It's funny when you go up. As soon as you go on the neck pickup, and on the back, it's less pronounced. Holy smoking boy. Uh, Philip Sace, 
does yeah, yeah, a yeah. demo of this who is epic playing all that kind of Hendrix inspired yeah. sort of stuff but anyway there you go yeah. uh, the pedal porn octone cool and I pedal. think it's quite affordable as well is it? Mm. cool uh, Brian oh, Wampler Legend. Uh, the man behind uh, the Wampler pedal range. Uh huh. Um, now, this is interesting, isn't it? Because the picture on the front of this pedal is a Minotaur. Minotaur? Minotaur? Minotaur. Minotaur. Oh, is it? Yeah, isn't that normally. Someone else has done the. What does Moxie mean, though? Is that like a. I don't know. Is that, what does Moxie mean? Can we look that up? Hey, Siri. 15 minutes later. Wow. It's a character. Right. Yeah, it's a force of character. That's that right. Okay, we're back in the room. Mm. I don't know at what point the cut point was Doesn't there, matter. but we're going back in the room. Yeah. The Moxie Overdrive is Brian Wampler's all new twisted take on a classic analog screamer style overdrive circuit. Use it to pour out a cold shot of Texas blues. Add a little edge to your rhythm chops or tighten up and push your lead channel into brutal high gain. Ooh. So, um. I don't know what order these videos are coming out here, but we've just done an updated 2022 Tube Screamer shootout in yeah. which uh, the Moxie was featured. If that video exists yet, it'll be up there. Uh, we've got volume gain and tone plus a switch uh, to engage the fat mode. Left is stock, right alters the clipping and gain profile. And voice has got two, di two distinct voices. Left is stock, right is enhanced clarity. It's with a 9 or an 18 volt power supply. It still doesn't tell okay. me why there's a Minotaur on the top. And what's the because Minotaur it's a force, reference it's a... on the... I'm sure the Helix... I'm going well off Minotaur. tangent here. Minotaur, Minotaur, yeah, but that's you the say tomato, I say... Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, but that's centaur. because you like, you don't... Centaur. It's a Centaur, Minotaur, right. something different. Can we just hear what it sounds like? You're going to confuse everyone, Brian. Say, yeah, if you put he, a Minotaur some, on well, the front of a Tube Screamer pedal, no one's going to know what you're trying to achieve here, but we'll hear it. Here we go. Clean. Well, it doesn't have to achieve anything. It's just... Maybe it's just... That sounds good, man. So this is all of the modes in the stock you know, screamer Barrel mode. Stock so let's just stock. get a little bit more gain in there. Sounds more than just a tube screamer. So much more. Way more. Way more. Way more. Way worth more. <laughs> okay. I like it. it sounds um, good, man. Links below. Do you want to try it quickly with a let's try it with a Les Paul really quick? Sure. Why not? Now. In fairness, when we did the Moxie shootout with the Tube Screamers, we only used a strap, right? Yes, we did. And I couldn't really decide if I, that, the voice switch was quite subtle. With the Les Paul, all of a sudden, the voice switch is really obvious. There we go. Right, let's check this out. Okay. I thought it was pretty obvious in the video. Did you? I Maybe I'm thinking right of a different... The, uh... <laughs> I have to say that to be different. <laughs> That sounds great, man. 
that he is the most volcanically movie. nuclear tube screamer clone <laughs> I've ever heard. Yeah. I would never say this was a tube screamer no. clone if I hadn't read it in the manual. No, no, um, no. I just said it's a great sounding overdrive it's pedal. Just, it's a heavy, it's a classic rock heavy overdrive yeah. pedal, isn't great, it? Really? Sounds, Sounds great. good to me. Hang on, let me just do a. Uh... <laughs> Things. Let's go to the Great Eastern <laughs> Effects Company. I've looked forward to this one. So uh, these guys are based out of Cambridge, yeah, home of uh, so, the famous dude. university. Yeah, yeah, it's one it? dude. Yeah. Is it? Wow. He got his yeah. first class honors master's degree out of Cambridge University and decided to design pedals. Yeah, uh, so right. I, think, I love Cambridge, man. Oxford At last, Cambridge. he yeah. describes this as anyway. This is an overdrive you can redesign on the fly to deliver exactly what you your guitar and your amp require bold claim mm. uh it's got a unique width and edge control Holy moly. <laughs> it really is a designer drive pedal um dialing in a wide range of killer drive tones killer can go from transparent and true to your original tone or com or do completely the opposite yeah but it says i love it right I'll, do you know what 1.21 bloody 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 let's go with everything oh it's it does a yeah, it's clickable. Click, 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 click. I start in the middle somewhere. I like a click knob. Uh, with everything halfway. I like that. I like it. Mild, transparent. takes the uh, highs and lows away, a little bit like a tube screamer there. Couldn't it be? Um, Here we go, let's poll. Yeah. What how's the low gain? I mean, it's. I, I always feel like you know, if you can, it's the sort of do everything drive pedal. It's like I, I bold claims, right? But we're sitting in a in a pocket of sort of low gain to classic rock, I think yes, yeah, brilliant good sounds, some yeah. good sound. And I like the look of these pedals. They it's do make pedal. nice looking pedals, don't yeah, we? It's a good. Anywho, here we go. Oh, this um, is. Uh... Frost, do you get many, these are made in Texas. Do you get many frost giants in Texas? Is it ever frosty in Texas? It is. I've been to Dallas with snowed. Really? No, where were we? Not, was it Dallas? I can't remember, I was somewhere I in Texas it was, and it started snowing, you know. I thought it was always hot in Texas. Well. Okay, we are on the Fuzz Worship website as um, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused here in the sense of the website is fuzzworship.com. That appears to be the, the brand, but then sort of Frost Giant Electronics is some sort of sub brand. Uh, and then, of course, the mountain is this pedal. What did you say this was a, a, a reference to? Sleep. Sleep. Yeah. Right. So just play that. OK. <laughs> Well, sleep. Are you sort of, I miss is the Sandman or something? This sleep. is, I have no idea. There's a band, obviously it's oh, one sleep. of Oz's. I've heard about, I heard about sleep. I've heard, yeah. yeah. I spent a third of my life doing no, that. No, I don't. Uh, I one wish of the <laughs> tightest and most aggressive forms of your favorite black and white rodent. Rat. Rat. Wow, why do people have to be so obscure? And that's not terribly obscure, is it, in fairness? So, okay, so we're in the, we're in the rat okay. domain. Yes. Uh, but we're going tighter and more aggressive than a Ooh. regular rat. Yeah. So think more like a <laughs> ferret or something. Oh, no. A rabid stoat Take, or something like that. I'll think back to when I was about 22, that, and that'll give a better idea. Okay. Of, uh... We've got two buttons. One switches between uh, distortion and overdrive okay. up the top here, and the other just turns the pedal on and off. And then we've got three modes. Okay. Uh, the modes go... First mode is a compressed symmetrical silicon... Uh, true to the original silicone. rat, I s assume. The second is an asymmetrical silicon that gives a more lively and fuller tone. Sounds like a sounds like a, a sort of a, a chef, doesn't it? Like a wine connoisseur. A wine chef. Uh, and the third is a hybrid uh, that's a full-on brick house of a setup. He's a brick house. I'm too old for this. <laughs> right, let's just turn it on. That's a. That's a. It, it is ratty. It is ratty. It is ratty. Yeah, it is. I'll give you that. Minor criticism that it's not clear which of the buttons wow. is on and off and which is switching the distortion into the overdrive mode. Sounds Maybe good. Maybe directly they manual. They have a. Would um, be. That sounds great, man. They have a great. So they don't call this like a distortion pedal. They call it an auditory signal disruptor. Sounds like something like Captain Kirk would have had back in the old days, <laughs> isn't it? Set the auditory <laughs> signal disruptor to, to level four. To level um, four massaging the rat. <laughs> My pinky finger just got snapped in. Ah! Oh, really? Yeah, I've got that recently. Ow, 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 where the ow, fingers ow. got it sticks into position, and then I have to click them out. 
Well, that was sludgy. Uh, hands up uh, in YouTube land. Who would like to see Oz, our resident doomster, uh, put together some doom rigs? Where I would. You know, when we talk about bands like Sleep, yeah, Oz will actually know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> as opposed to Pete Knight just yeah, yeah. going. I, I, I completely want to see that. I do too. Yeah. So hands up in a virtual world. There's yeah. probably an emoji for it, but comment yes. that. Okay, okay, lastly, but by no means leastly, no. Uh, we are in the world of Walrus uh, and the new <laughs> pedal, the Law. Um, I fought the Law. <laughs> law won. Uh, Have you watched we, Mr. Tusk? No. Have you watched the film Tusk with Johnny no. Depp and uh, what's that? Just, just go and watch that film. It's so far out there. Have you anyway, this is Law as in L-O-R-E, so I think more yeah. like folk law rather than, yeah. you know, a law. judicial law. Well, there, you see there's, um, a, there's, a, there's, there's a, a fairy with a tree growing out of its head on, I, on the I'm uh, into this. page. I'm into this. So, uh, the law oh. is described as a reverse soundscape generator. So we are going to generate the soundscape of your life, but in reverse, like oh, Benjamin that's gonna Button. That's going to be awful. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. So uh, we do it in reverse, so things just get better. Yeah, right? exactly. Okay. <laughs> exactly. So, it's like a country song. <laughs> You get Carl back, you get what? You get best friend Jack back. <laughs> anyway, right. So we better try and find out what this actually does. Uh, <laughs> built around a reverse delays and reverbs, got two DSP chips running in series, each with their own analog feedback path. Wow. So it means the law takes you on an adventurous journey, rich with themes of reversing, time stretching, pitch shifting, and vast. Can ambience. I stick? Well, it's about 24. Yeah, I'll try and stay there. 20, mode 24. That was, that was a great Excellent. time. This will be the best time. Um, wow. You've got to <laughs> just go to the, the Walrus website and you can carry on the once upon a time in a fairy tale world. That's how they start their thing. You can go and read the rest of that. I'm oh, really? sure it's good fun. Yeah. <laughs> I like it already. All the usual walrusy kind of normal, you know, feedback, regeneration, modulation, mix, X, which does something different depending on the program you're in, time yeah. and tone, and a, and a tap tempo if you need to. It's substantially less weird and way more usable than I thought it would be from the yeah, description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's also mono, which means, I, th I assume it's just mono. I don't know if there's a, there's still two, looks maybe, like unless mono, it's yeah. a, unless it's a, a dual jack, what is it called, and TRS. A dual jack. A dual jack. Jack and jack. It says here, experiment with the X knob to control how reversed your delay trails are. So left being uh, least reversed and oh, your right X being <laughs> most reversed, which is why. I... So I guess the most reversed is the weirdy one. It sounds cool, <laughs> right? So halfway is like really sideways like... on, is yeah, it? Yeah, sideways on. Let's go to program two. Otherwise man, we'll be here that all day. Great, man. Reverse delay into octave up reverb, where the X control controls the decay of the reverb. Use the regeneration knob to introduce a playful shimmer into the reverb. Where's that? Hey, right, let's blue. have some shimmer. <laughs> Program three. Wow. I'm liking this a lot, uh, but I'm rattling through it because program three says put some fuzz in it as well. So we might as well really? see what happens. So program three is a dark reverb with an octave down harmonic feedback with heavy filtering and harmonic distortion to create a sound that is thick, rich and murky. A bit like me. Um, <laughs> use the regen knob to bring 
a lower octave into the reverb. Okay. Dad Doom, but uh, <laughs> I think we're, we're bringing to you live DD. from the Anderson's YouTube channel. Thanks, uh, Dad Doom. Right, two that more was modes. great, man. It's, I like this a lot. Uh, so this is now reverse reverb into a forward reverb. Doesn't that just cancel each other out? It's like cancel culture for reverb. You know, one goes forward, one goes backwards, and, and then the settings anyway, called woke. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, what do the knobs do on here? So, feedback knob adds a lower octave to the reverse reverb. Conversely, the region knob adds an octave up to the reverse reverb. Oh, wow. You've still got gain wow. on there. Wow. Is that still on now? Oh, I've got to turn it on. Shout. I've got to. Okay. Boss on it as well. That's like the end of your life like right there, that, isn't it? Except that there's another mode to go. So this is pitch delay into pitch delay. Ah, oh, you know, we've not even found this. This is why I should read manuals. There's a momentary feature if I hold the tap tempo down. Oh, yeah. Momentarily shift the clock rate of the pedal. I don't even know what that means, but let's try it. Um, so you hold down. Okay, we'll get this finished now because we've got to go. But um, what does this do then? Mode five is the delay into the delay, pitch delay into the delay. <laughs> It's 
says here, experiment Ooh. with some short staccato notes to create some very interesting rhythm parts. Because it's the X is changing the, um, it's the order of the fourth and the fifth and the octave intervals. Okay. That's probably the most weirdy one, but if I'm going to go back earlier and see if I can get this um, momentary thing to work. So let's try one of those heavy doom sludgy things that we have. together wicked, yeah, it's man. wicked i'm just gonna say this as well this is pete, pete and i were listening to um wow some old pink floyd stuff earlier today off the sort of dark side of the moon album T talking about kind of um we were shooting a video about univibes or something and it was it was kind of like a, listening to how to. that effect had given that song the, the opening chords of that song yeah, yeah. a sort of a, a uniqueness and i almost feel like you played something in there and i was going like almost like if david gilmer had been if he was starting out pink floyd now he'd and probably he had like, that he'd have these two things and and you guarantee you that like 50 years later people will be going oh, what does song, that sound that yeah where that come is from the, is the sound but that's the inspiration that these things give you that's why a thing like this is so yeah. inspirational so look, but it was this thing wasn't it it was like Gentlemen, that's good, man. Uh, that is another episode of Tales from the Pedal Cabinet wrapped up. Uh, links for all of these will be below. You can, of course, purchase all of these from Andertons. Like, subscribe. Um, if you, yeah, if you enjoy this channel and you want to help support us and win a real clon, yeah, and a just, real clon. You sounded like, like you sounded just like subscribe. What Sean Connery clon. doing? Real clon yeah. voiceovers. Yes, just <laughs> subscribe. It's free yeah. and easy. Um, yeah. Right. And we'll, do other, we'll do other giveaways before then. Just anyway, onwards and upwards. Uh, we shall see you next time. Thank you for watching.